Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can upload your files to cloud storages using pdf.co web API and uh, Postman which is an API development platform. Uh, before you perform the steps in this video, first you have to uh, make an account with Postman and you should know how to connect Postman with pdf.co using pdf.co web API. Uh, these processes are explained in this article. So you can go to pdf.co slash postman and you can see how you can make an account with postman and how you can connect postman with pdf.co using pdf.co web APIs. So once you have performed these steps, you can come back and see how you can upload files to temporary storages using pdf.co web API and postman. So here on the postman dashboard, you can see collections tab and here these are the API calls for pdf.co. If you click here you can see the list of api calls or in other words the list of functionalities that you can perform on pdf.co using uh, postman so we need to upload a file to a temporary storage for that you have to drop down go down and here you can see upload file section in the upload file section you have to first perform two steps you have to get two urls the first url that will be used to upload your file to our temporary storage and the second URL uh, is the URL that you will get in return that will be used to access that file. So first you have to click this option get file upload get pre send URL. So if you click here you will see uh, this window here. You do not have to do a lot of steps here. Uh, so by default the name of your temporary file is uh, test.pdf if you are uploading a CSV file you should change the file extension here and also keep this encrypt option to true that will encrypt your file so simply click send here on this uh, window if your API call is successful you will see uh, a status of 200 as you can see here or you can see here as well so uh, the top link is the link that you will use to put or upload your file and once your file is uploaded, you can use this bottom link to access that file. So uh, the next step is to put uh, your file to a uh, temporary storage. For that, you have to click this option, put pre send URL. So if you double click this option, you can see it here. Uh, here in this, this field, you have to basically copy and paste the link that was generated using this get call. So you have to copy and paste this link and paste it here. And here uh, by default there is logo.png but uh, we will upload a PDF form. So I will simply click select files and here I will simply upload this uh, this is a form, a text return form, a dummy form. You can upload any PDF file if you want. So I will select it and click open. You can see the form is shown here. And the next step is to simply click send. So if the API call is successful, you can again see status of 200 here. Okay, that means the API call was successful. So your file has been uploaded. Now to access your uploaded file, again go back to this get function and you click this URL. This URL contains your uploaded file. So if you follow this URL, you will see that the PDF form that you just uh, uploaded is downloaded here. Since I clicked that link for three, four times, you can see a lot of forms are opened. Uh, so you can see the name of the file, it's test.pdf, which you actually mentioned while uploading your file and since uh, we have downloaded multiple versions you can see three four five and six so this is how you upload um, a file to a temporary storage using pdf.co web api and postman it is important to remember that this file uh, stays on your cloud storage for one hour only and after that it is removed and also you can upload a file uh, of size up to 2 gb using pdf.co web api and postman thank you for watching